I don't even really know where to begin. So, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just watched the Game of Thrones finale. Yeah, yeah, mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. I mean, on the one hand, I'm horrified, and on the other hand, I'm mortified. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and say that um, this video is not at all a spoiler-free zone because we are going to be we're going to be talking about it. We're going to be playing with makeup, of course, because this is a makeup channel. But we're also going to be talking about it. So I got this. A little while ago it's the Urban Decay Game of Thrones palette and I wanted to play with it the moment I got it but then I figured what I would do I would wait until we found out who won the Iron Throne and then whichever house won that would be the look that we would create when you open it you have this lovely little quote from Daenerys Targaryen Lannister Targaryen Baratheon Stark Tyrell, that all just spokes on a wheel. This one's on top, then that one's on top, and on and on it spins, crushing those on the ground. Okay, Danny. And then a really cool fixture. If you pull on this tab, da -da -da -da, you get the Iron Throne. Obviously, very cool. I mean, completely redundant. You can do nothing with it, but you know, it's pretty cool. Then if you pull on this little tab at the side, out pop the eyeshadows. There we go. So of course, up here we have kind of the colours that were inspired by the North, by the Free Folk, Darks, etc. Here we have the colours for King's Landing, so it's all kind of like Lannister. And last we have sort of House Targaryen, so everything inspired by Daenerys and her dragons. Huh. <laughs> if you've watched the series and you've watched the last episode and you, like me, are um, horrified, then welcome to the club. Okay, so I had my money on Sansa Stark. I was like, she is going to be on that Iron Throne because my logic was Daenerys is losing her mind. Therefore, Jon is going to have to kill Daenerys, which we were right about. And then John's going to have the throne, but he's not going to want the throne, so he's going to give it to Bran, which, again, we were right. But Bran's not going to want the throne, and then he's going to give it to Sansa. That's where it kind of... Mm. Mm -mm. As it turns out, Bran is on the throne, the Iron Throne. However, Sansa is on the Northern Throne? Sansa is Queen of the North. So Basically, the Starks are ruling the world. Because the Starks are ruling the world, that means we are going to dip into the Winterfell colours. <sighs> so I already have a completed base. I went for something very kind of like dewy and kind of glow. And as for the hair, I was trying to go for like an Aya kind of um, <laughs> slicked back thing. So all uh, disappointment and uh, harrowing sadness aside, let's jump into the Game of Thrones Urban Decay palette. So I have already primed my eyelids so they are ready to go and looking at these colours in the Winterfell section, I think... See the problem I'm noticing here is that the, these shades are all kind of shades that I would use to smoke. They're, they don't really have any shades that I would kind of use for, you know, a base or a transition or anything like that. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. This, we're making it up as we go along and it might look terrible. It might not, but we'll see. So, jumping in with this Charlotte Tilbury Eye Blender brush, I'm going to go into the colour Nymeria which I believe is the name of Arya's direwolf, I think. I'm not very good with names. I can, I can never remember the names. I don't do names. I don't do names. I just do faces. Dipping into this colour, Nymeria. It's a very kind of warm, taupey shade. Just coating the brush. And actually, you know what? I'm dipping it in there, and there is 
like absolutely no fallout whatsoever so that is really impressive so i am just going to very gently blend this into the crease and straight away i'm noticing the color is not as dark as i was expecting Expecting. It comes out a lot softer, which I've yet to decide if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Also, this is my first time using a Charlotte Tilbury brush and I am really impressed. So, something I had issue with in the finale is the way they killed Daenerys. I mean, I'm not so much opposed to the fact that they killed her because the way she behaved in the episode beforehand, where she killed all the innocent people, I think it was, it was, I think it was to be expected. I did, however, have a bit of an issue with how they did it, but everything she's been through, everything she's fought for, I think she deserved a better end than that. I think it was quite unceremonious. I I think she deserved better. Okay, so that has actually blended out really nicely. It's not as harsh as I thought it was going to be. So, that is winning brownie points from me. So, now I feel like we need to really deepen that crease and define. So, I think we can go in with this shade. Winter is here. It is a very kind of earthy kind of woodland brown and using the same brush I am going to just dip in and again this has no fallout I was expecting maybe it to be different because it is a shimmer shade and I usually find that shimmer shades tend to have some fallout that makes me think that it's got good staying power very gently buffing this into the crease and kind of forward and backward soft almost scratchy motions and then i'm really kind of filling it out at the ends and then bringing it back in to meet up with the lash line and also bringing it right in into the corner i'm almost over exaggerating this corner here because i want to make the eye look bigger than it is and I want the look to be more dramatic that will help us achieve that and that has already kind of opened the eye and it has enhanced it not as impressed with the way that that applied as the Nymeria shade applied this is harder to blend and it is going a little bit patchy but you know we'll keep trying so Sansa Stark being queen of the north okay that I can get on board with. I wanted her, ideally I wanted her to be Queen of the Seven Kingdoms, but I respect the fact that that's not what she was after. That's not what she was about. She just wanted the North to be free like it was before. I don't know, I really respect the fact that that's what she wanted, that's what she went for, and I think she's going to be a good Queen. I really do. Okay, now we have some extreme smoky eyes going on and this is where I begin to kind of lose my vision because I feel like whatever out of these shades I use to smoke it out neither of them are gonna match I'm planning on using this shade Winterfell as the topper for the lid but I really need something for the outer V of the eye and I don't know we have where would leaves or the site? I mean, I would be more drawn to where would leaves. However, the fact that Bran ended up on the Iron Throne, I kind of feel like we might have to go for site to honour that, even though I literally hate his guts because he is the most moist character in existence. <laughs> Don't know. Okay, we'll go for the site, we'll go for the site. I think it's a mistake, but we'll go for the site. So on a small angled Morphe brush, I'm gonna go into the site. It is a very nice kind of forest bottle green color. It is a, another shimmer shade, which makes me nervous because um, I don't know how much shimmer one eye can withstand, but we will see. So I'm just tapping it in. Again, there is absolutely no fallout whatsoever. And I can see on the end of this, this is pigmented. This is 
this is going to be unforgiving so if I mess this up then <laughs> then then it's all over but you know it's all over in Game of Thrones now anyway so it kind of is fitting but this I'm just gonna start stamping on this outer V I'm gonna worry about blending later right now you just want to stamp to get that color on there and it's not as scary a color as I thought it was going to be actually actually very nice very blendable very workable color so that's good it seems happier going kind of on the brow bone or on the outer view than it is on the lid for some reason it doesn't want to take to the lid but we will persevere okay that is actually not too bad that is creating a very nice out there but nice look let's try and recreate that on the other eye okay who else had a bit of a uh, miserable end okay well Jon Snow had a miserable end the fact that he has ended up kind of shipped out to the wall again is disappointing uh, especially seeing how he is the only person who is the rightful heir to the throne i think it was kind of a bit snaky of bran to send him out there knowing that he's the rightful heir but i understand that he had to try and not start a war with the unsullied but i don't know I don't know, I, I didn't like it. I thought it was kind of, John deserved a better ending. Also, it kind of <laughs> makes me wonder like, so is John just going on like a lifelong hike with the with the free folk now? Because that's what it looked like. It looked like he was just going off on a little forever, forever, forever hike with his little beardy ginger bud whose name I don't remember. So now we kind of have a nice shape coming in and I'm now going to go into that shade Winterfell and I'm going to sweep it over the lid and connect it with kind of the brown and the green uh, try and blend it all out very smoothly. I am going to be doing that with a flat packing brush from Morphe and as you can see it's a very kind of rusted gold colour. It's very pretty. It is another shimmer shade so with this base and these eyes are just going to be glowing to the gods. Now just scratching that in here and already I'm noticing that although you can't see a lot of fallout there is a lot of like extra shadow grabbing to the brush that I know if I don't tap off it would have all kind of like left fallout on my face which is not good that is typical of this kind of a topper shade and i'm just gonna sweep that over the lid okay it's really not as pigmented as i would have hoped not really that pigmented at all actually it really doesn't want to go on a bit of a fight to get it to actually kind of do what i want it to do it doesn't seem to matter whether i try and sweep it on or pack it on it doesn't want to be there which is disappointing but we will persevere i know a lot of people kind of like wet their brushes before they dip into a shimmer shade because it kind of gives like a better effect but the only problem with doing that is that you do end up ruining your shimmer shade. While we're on the subject of disappointing, I was also kind of disenchanted with Arya's end. She didn't really get to kill off anyone on her list. And uh, although she killed the Night King and she basically saved everyone's life, no one has given her any credit for it. And now she's just sailing off to discover the rest of the world. So... Basically, she's Christopher Columbus. Not too sure how I feel about that. Okay, well that shade was disappointing. But you know, the whole finale of Game of Thrones was disappointing, so at least, you know, we're keeping on trend. So we have to give the lower lash line some love, seeing as the only shade we've not dipped into is the Wormwood Leaves, this lovely purple colour. I feel like we should possibly ruin everything we've created with that. As you can see, it is a lovely kind of deep plum colour. Going in with a Charlotte Tilbury smudger brush, I'm going to tap that on there. Virtually no fallout. The brush is picking it up nicely. Yep, nothing is coming off of there. That's good. And then very gently, I'm going to sweep it on that lower lash line, making it a bit thicker on the outer corner and a lot more diffused further in we go. When we get to the tear duct, the corner of the eye, the purple is almost non-existent. I'm just gonna drag that out so it meets right up with the corner, blending the purple and the green together. You know what? I think I take back what I said. It actually looks quite nice all together. So that's created a very dramatic, smoky eye look. We will do the same to the other eye. And I also, of course, think we need to talk about Tyrion 
Lannister, the greatest character of the whole series, who thankfully was not killed. I don't really mind the ending they gave Tyrion, I just wish that he was happy because he has literally never been happy in the eight seasons that we've been with him and I was hoping that he would get his happy ending but at least he's not dead and at least he's doing what he's good at which is making wise decisions and there you go that is our Winterfell Stark inspired eyes now I'm quickly gonna go do some mascara and some lipstick off camera and then I'll be back for my final thoughts and we are back so that brings us to the end of this Game of Thrones finale makeup look. Um, it's not something that I would wear day to day. It is however cute. It is definitely giving me some Winterfell Stark vibes. I think, although I was initially wary of the colour story, I do think it works. Minimal fallout, apart from the topper over here. It applied nicely. The shade Winter is Here was a little bit patchy. All the other shades that I tried though went on very nicely. Winterfell took some persuasion to get on there once it's on there it's fine and it looks good but you really have to like work with it it's stubborn which is true of Winterville so it works <laughs> yeah I really like this palette am I gonna reach for it every day probably not am I gonna experiment and play around with it of course I really am intrigued by the white walker selection up here especially this blue up here white walker it is it's calling to me um, so i might play around with that on camera in the future i would probably give it a hmm, i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it four stars it's good it's not great there is definitely room for improvement but it is a really nice selection of colours and it's a really pretty palette and it's a collector's item and at least this palette is better than the season finale. At any rate, it's all over now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening to me rattle on. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, you can of course give it a thumbs up and if you really like it, you can always subscribe and you can leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video, what you thought of the end of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be lots of mixed reviews. You can of course hit the notification bell so that you know every time I upload. And don't forget that you can click the link in the box down below which will take you to the Snatch Studios Apparel website where if you use the code LAURA20 you'll get 20% off your purchase. Thank you so much for watching. I had fun with you. I hope you have fun with me. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go cry about the Game of Thrones ending. Bye.